Hello and welcome to Cool Your Damn Jets. Um, I've had the Amazon Fire Stick TV uh, 4K for a while now and I have more observations to make about it. Um, my overall view of the device is that it, I at first I was saying it's not a beta device that Amazon has polished it, but now I think it is a beta device like the Google TV is a beta device. Um, it has the tiniest, tiniest of edge over the Google TV in my book, but I could see somebody with different constraints or preferences uh, deciding that the Google TV has the edge. Um, like if you're living alone and you don't need profiles, um, I think the Google TV might be perfectly well for you. But for us, we, we do need profiles. I have my preferences. My wife has her preferences. And that's the thing with profiles is that they're not, it's not abstract. When you when you have a profile and you select shows and stuff like that, then the, the device offers new shows uh, to watch. And it depends on what you've watched before. And, you know, I love my wife and everything, but I'm not a big fan of just watching cooking shows. I don't want to have my suggestions be filled with cooking shows that I'm not, never going to watch. You know, I may watch a, sh a cooking show if my w wife puts it on, it's going to be on and I'm going to, you know, pay attention to it. But it's not, it's not my thing. I don't seek them out. Uh, I've sought them out in the past, but not now. Um... So the profile thing for me is very important, and I discovered that the Amazon Fire Stick, uh, Fire TV Stick, um, has a very bizarre way of dealing with profiles. So you can switch the profile at the device level, and then you're going to be either in in your profile or in your your significant other's profile. And it's Amazon Prime, because it's an Amazon device, Amazon Prime is going to follow whichever profile you are on. But once you start using the other apps like Netflix or Paramount Plus, those apps may not be in your profile already. And then you need to change the profile in the app too. And it's been so bad that there have been times when I... Uh, selected a show to watch and uh, you know continue watching this or start watching that and it started the app so I was in my profile on on the at the device level but it started the app with the wrong profile with my wife's profile and then it started the show with my wife's profile and then I said no that's not what I want I want the the app to start with my profile but it has no idea and and I I understand that you know, your profile on on uh, Amazon can be called one name and on Netflix can be called a different name. And it's not evident to just say, well, if this person is called so-and-so on one uh, service, then it's going to be the same name on the next service. Ultimately, I think we would have to have a system in which we can kind of tell the system, if you're in this profile at the device level and it corresponds to this profile, in this app and so on and so forth and i know it can be complicated but that's ultimately that's what i'd like to see but in the meantime there's at least one thing that he can do nicely and it's when you start a show instead of just jumping into whatever profile was used last bring up the screen to select profiles and then you let the the user uh, decide which profile to use and then you start the show instead of jumping into the app and whatever last profile was used and possibly used the wrong profile. Um, so that's one thing. I think, you know, the Amazon Stick TV, uh, no, no, I, keep, I keep messing up the name. The Amazon TV Stick has profiles, but they're badly implemented. So the edge that I thought it had over the Google TV turns out not to be much of an edge after all. Um... The other thing is that at some point I was doing th things with the remote and I was flipping quickly between apps 
And at some point I was in the main screen of the device and it was playing sound. And it was not a preview sound. It was not like I was on a show and it was playing the preview. It was playing the sound from the last app I was in. It forgot that I got out of the app and then it should stop playing the sound. And it took a while to figure out the right presses to fix it. I don't remember remember even how I fixed it. And eventually it, it stopped. I don't think it stopped just by happenstance. I think I did something to make it stop. But I don't remember what sequence of action I took exactly. Um, another thing that I noticed, uh, the Amazon ads do happen uh, also in live TV. Previously, I was just watching reruns and I saw ads that looked like Amazon had slapped the ad over the the broadcaster's ad, um, which may be fine. They may have arrangement with the broadcasters to do that. But now I noticed that it also does it with live TV, where, where you're watching a show that they're broadcasting right now and they have their own ads. And then at some point you have an Amazon ad that comes on and it's not... It doesn't look at all like the Amazon ads that you would see on if you were just getting the signal from the broadcaster. You have the opportunity to press a button and get into uh, order something from Amazon. It's uh, it's more invasive than I had first uh, realized. Um, and the last thing I noticed uh, with the uh, the Fire TV stick is that uh, the Paramount Plus app crashes. If if I'm on the main screen and I press the button and I try to go into the, the Paramount Plus app, sometimes, I'm, I mean, it, it, it happens maybe daily. Uh, so it, it's that frequent, but it doesn't happen every time. But on a daily basis, I press on the icon for that app and then it starts up and it crashes back to the main screen and I have to repress it and it happened multiple times. The first time I thought, well, maybe I didn't press right because, you know, I was not paying attention or something, but it it happens over and over again. And at first I thought that that app on the Fire TV stick was as bad as on the Google TV. And, I'm, and the reason I call it as bad is because on whether we're on the Fire TV stick or on the Google TV, if we're watching something live in, in the Paramount Plus app, it is going to freeze. It's guaranteed at some point it's going to freeze. The live feed is going to come in and it's going to freeze. It's the only app that does that among all the apps I have. Though usually I don't watch live TV, I think, with other apps. So I don't know how... How is it with other apps with live TV? But it's the only time I have a problem with an app that just freezes. And I thought that on the Fire TV stick, it was the same thing. It just freezes. You know, equal opportunity, um, messed up code that it's it's messed up on the Google TV and it's messed up on the Amazon Fire TV stick. Uh, but no, on the Fire TV stick, it is even more because now it crashes uh, sometimes when I just start the app and, and that never happened on the Google TV uh, device. Uh, so I imagine somebody, for instance, who doesn't care about profiles and has a Google TV would prefer the Google TV maybe just only on, on this basis that, uh, you know, the Paramount Plus app doesn't crash back to the main screen uh, when you press on it, though, you know, maybe it's a recent update and now it does it. I, I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not, I, I mean, my appreciation of the Amazon Fire TV stick has gone down since last time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to come on a third time to say it's even worse because I've discovered more bugs, but I, I'm, I'm really appalled that uh, those companies, Amazon and Google, are putting up, putting out devices that don't seem to be well thought out, and uh, uh, they, they have bugs, you know. And then you complain, and it goes nowhere. It ends up uh, going to a bot or or something like that. Uh, you get an automated response, or you you get a response that doesn't really address the problem, or they tell you to to rebuild your house because your stick doesn't work. <laughs> that's stupid, but that's pretty much what it amounts to. When they start telling you to reset this and reset that and reset the router, and 
you don't know what's going on and your solution is for me to rebuild my house. Great. Um, so yeah, that's all the new stuff. Uh, maybe I'm going to have another video about the device eventually. But for now, I say goodbye and uh, see you later.